So here you can see we have a layout like this. Uh, there's a button stream music and there's a button play in background. So if you click on uh, stream music, the music from this URL, as you can see, uh, you can, I'll have this URL in the description below so you can use it in your own project to test. And yeah, when we click on this stream button, this audio will be played. All right, now on this play button or play in background is for another thing uh, that will uh, I did, where I'll show you how to play a music in background. So this uh, will not be used now. So we just need the stream music button and this edit text. All right, so I already have the layout and I'll not be coding along. So if you want, you can pause and uh, copy paste or you can type this. So, but yeah, if you if you want, uh, I also have this project in GitHub. So you can uh, clone this project from GitHub. Okay, so how do you play from music stream? First of all, I've done nothing. Uh, this is just the references to the edit text and the button that we had there. And we have to make a media player. Otherwise, how else will you play media? And there is a Boolean that says is streaming goes to false by because is streaming is false by default. So let's see how we, are, we will use these variables. So in on create, we have done nothing, but we have just referenced the button and our edit text. And we have set the content view to our music play layout. And on click of the stream button, what we do is if we check if this Boolean is true, that means uh, is streaming, uh, that means the media is streaming. So we say if is streaming, that means if the audio is already playing, we just stop playing and then we set the is streaming to false. Otherwise, we just start the audio stream and then we set is streaming to true. So you can see why the Boolean is used here. We just check if uh, it is used to check if the media is already playing or not. So what we do, if, we are, if it is already playing, we just stop it and we set it to false. If it is not already playing, we set it to true and we start the audio. All right, so let's see what's happening inside these functions. So first, let's start from start audio stream. Okay, in start audio stream, first we check if media player is null. If media player M is null, we just initialize it to a new media player. And then what we do, we just log, uh, we are playing this URL and we set the audio stream. This is the important part, guys. So the, uh, we have to set the audio stream type as stream music because we'll be streaming music. And then we set the data source to URL, all right? And then we just do the basic uh, media player stuff. We just prepare it. We set the volume of both left and right, uh, right speakers. We set the looping to false. If we set it to yes, then the audio will start playing all over again after it has finished. And then we just start the media player. This is it. This is all you need to do to play audio from a URL. All right, now, URL, where are we getting, we are passing the URL here. Where are we passing the URL from? We are getting the URL from our edit text that we have here. All right, so yeah. Now we just pass the URL and we play the URL. And if check, we check if the uh, is streaming is true, that means we have set it to true here. That means the audio is already playing. We just stop playing if the user cl uh, clicks this button again stream button again all right so what are we doing uh and stop playing we're just checking if media player is not null and media player is playing what we do we stop the media player we release the media player we initialize it to new media player and then we reset it so now our media player is ready to stream or play another audio all right so this is how you can easily stream music from a url